Ag AM in Kansas is brought to you in part by SureCrop, liquid crop nutrition delivered right to your farm. Uh, I'm honored to, to present here at No-Till on the Plains. Uh, tomorrow I'll be talking about uh, relay cropping, which most people don't understand what the principle of relay cropping is. We're actually planting a crop in a growing crop and before it's harvested. And so it takes some different management strategies and, and uh, different ways of thinking. Um, maybe a lot of planting as far as herbicide used the previous season, uh, considering what you're going to be doing that next year. This is something that uh, I grew up with in, in many instances. Uh, you know, in 1941, Kling Anderson with Kansas State University uh, had a circular published that uh, talked about using Korean Lespedeza and the preferred method of seeding was planting into a cereal grain crop. So uh, this is not something that's new. Sometimes I wonder if we just didn't forget about it. And uh, uh, most recently we've used uh, soybeans in the winter wheat and uh, has really helped our efficiency as far as labor and spreading out uh, equipment and, and our resources. We're also using some red clover and uh, brassicas in the fall and using them further after wheat harvest the next, next year. And I kind of like that system that uh, keeps us out of the field. We don't keep uh, going back and visiting the field with planting equipment. Um, we just harvest and harvest and harvest, whether it's with the combine cattle or, or otherwise with the hay. So. My uh, grazing system with cattle, really, I would like to, to have more on the crop land, but uh, we're in a situation where uh, a good portion of our farmland is in the river bottom that floods uh, too frequently, I guess. Fencing and uh, trying to get cattle pulled off is not uh, that functional for us. Maybe our biggest concern right now is we've got uh, some reservoirs that were built in the 50s and 60s that uh, have silted in. Um, you know, their primary purpose when they were constructed was for flood control, and we've lost a lot of that capability with the uh, uh, filling up with the silt. And uh, I think that may be a, a big concern. We're uh, trying to figure out different ways of constructing uh, diversions or, or something to maybe keep from accumulating the silt. A couple of us had to. Uh, talked over lunch how these two days we probably learned more than we do in the whole whole year following but uh, uh, we really uh, do gain a lot of information talking from other producers and and uh, you know that's that's one way of, of learning and um, a lot of times I feel like we we don't try to keep ahead and, and if we don't uh, continue to learn we're actually going behind. This hog is Hanover hoof for meal made from U.S. soybeans. Now, one hog isn't that impressive, but suppose we add another, and another, and another. Before long, you've got billions of hungry customers around the world all clamoring for the same thing. Our soybeans. Learn more about the billion-dollar appetite of animal agriculture at beyondtheelevator.com. Brought to you by America's Soybean Farmers and their checkoff.